We're here to tell the story of Sun, who had bought a lot of Delta Pro Ultra X. So I'd love to find out what it is and why it's awesome. Hey Sun, thank you for inviting me into your home. Um, so tell me a little bit about you. So I, I am an IT tech. Uh, I fix computer all the time. Uh, technology is something I'm always looking forward to uh, see what innovation is coming out, to see what this world can come to. I would love to see your Delta Pro track set up. Well, let's go. Let's take a look. So how, how did this all start for you? What, what made you decide to get into well, this? Well, in that corner of the basement, there was no sump pump. There was mm -hmm. just a pit. And what happened was uh, when a big storm hurricane comes and the water starts filling up from the ground up and all the water is start filling up in that sump pit. And what I had to do to prevent uh, the basement not to flood, I had to grab a bucket and like dump it. Oh, the old bucket brigade. I had to use a little pump with the garden hose to oh pump the God. water out, this right? sounds awful. So, and uh, I just decided one day, you know what, I gotta put a sump pump in. So I did. And then it hit me that I put the sump pump in but what happened if power goes out, the sump pump won't run. Especially when, if there's a storm, a lot of times right. power goes out at the same time. So having a sump pump in there without power, they don't, don't do anything for me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I decided I need to look for like a backup generator or something. At first I started looking at gas generator and I really don't want to go out in the rain if it's storm and go out and turn that thing on. So I started researching product, you know, I looked at the Anger and uh, I looked at Eagle Flow. That time, around that time, Eagle Flow came out with the DPU and really it suited my need because it's supposed to be a whole backup for the mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. And it also come with the uh, smart home panel too and integrate it and I can monitor the usage, flick the switch and turn them on and off and everything mm -hmm. just works great, keeping everybody safe. You know, so, so just looking at the website of how much this stuff costs, again, going back to my Eco Envy, um, you know, this is a very high-end product. What, what made you decide to kind of just jump right into this? So I work as an IT tech and I'm always about uh, technology. I always love to look into things like latest, the greatest, you know, I don't go back in time. This DPU X here have everything that I need. You can monitor everything on the app. I don't have to come down and touch any button and everything you can just do on the app. As far as like the course and everything, there's tax credit. You know, I mm -hmm. want to take advantage of that. Yeah, it's very sure. important. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. really helps you with uh, the finance, this product with the tax credit. So when you're looking at this whole setup, I mean, this is a huge investment. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, what made you decide on having EcoFlow versus the other company? So the other company, the, the product, the functionality of the app, just not as good as EcoFlow. Uh, the product itself doesn't look as good, and the capacity, why, just doesn't seem to be as good as EagleFlow. So, and EagleFlow has been out there for a while, and I feel like they're innovating product uh, very good with the technology, mm -hmm. and I feel good with them. Have you looked into uh, other installed battery option? Oh, I absolutely have. You know, I looked at the power wall and, mm -hmm. and the cost of the solar and all of that is just way, way too expensive for me. It's literally like close to like 70 to 80,000 just oh, for me. Wow. So I didn't want to pay for that, you know? So, and then I found Eagle Flow and the installation for this, it's quick, it's portable, and it's like one dot of the course. So it, to me, it's no brainer, you know? A lot it's, of value in that, yeah. yeah. And you can connect to solar in the future whenever you want. It's not like a fixed system. So you can plug it in and disconnect and move it wherever you want. So it's basically plug and play. Power wall, you can't. You have to have somebody come out, look at it, assess how many you need based on your electricity need. Just, it takes too long. So say your, your family's electrical need is growing and you just end up needing more battery than you need. What's the difference between, I want more battery with this versus I want more battery with say power wall? Well, with EcoFlow, you want more battery, you just go to EcoFlow website and get another battery. And then when it comes, you just stack it on top of it. Oh, wow. Power wall, you have to go through Tesla. They would have to get the permit and whatnot, and it, it takes a lot of time. With DPUX, you can have up to a maximum of 30 batteries, and that Ooh. will run a long time. That's amazing. Yeah, so for a house, that uses so much electricity like yours, I can't imagine one DP will actually have enough solar to really carry through the day. In fact, I think you need this to, to have a large array like that because I don't think DPU can take more than, I believe 5.6 kilowatt 
maxed out. That's what one DPU can do. Yeah, you would need multiple inferno for that. It's the first time seeing this thing. What's the difference between this and the Smart Home Panel 2? The main difference is this has a 12 circuit and this has up to 32 Smart Home circuit. Wow, that's a lot more. So I actually have one of those and I am able to fit more circuit into it with a tandem breaker. But without tandem breaker, I can't fit more circuit into it. Do you have any tandem breaker? Not at all. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's the whole point of me having the Smart Home Panel 3. I want to monitor um, down to each individual circuit level. And what's the rating on this? This is a 200 amp main panel, main, and it can basically handle everything in the house. Oh, wow. And, and this, I know it cannot be used as a main panel. Yes. So, are you using this as a main panel right now? Absolutely. This used to be an old panel, dumb panel, but oh, now wow. this is the main panel now. So That's amazing. I love how this those two parts are separate. So for some reason, if you don't want the smart bits, you can just kind of have it as a panel by itself. You don't even need the inlet. You can remove it. Can we take a look at the inside? Absolutely. Mind so, if I open up this at the same time? It. Okay. Wow. So you are still using this. Yes. Want to tell us about your strategy? <laughs> I'm able to monitor everything, except uh, I have a very high power appliance, which is the uh, tank plus water heater. And it has to be on its own. So that's where those are. Yes. Cool. So I didn't want those circuit on the old sub panel, which is not smart. Why not move smart home panel two and as a sub panel and connect to the smart home panel three so everything will be smart and I don't have to waste my investment and I can monitor everything on my app from oh, wow. usage and turn them on and off, everything works. Could you tell us about your installation experience? Yeah, so I purchased a uh, EagleFlow installation service for the smart home panel and the electrician did everything according to what I wanted. Oh, from wow. down to which wire goes to which circuit number and uh, everything works great. He, was at my, he came to my house around 10 o'clock in the morning and he mm -hmm. didn't leave till like midnight. Oh, so, wow. It was a great electrician experience. Do you feel like the electrician had more freedom to give you the circuit in the exact order that you wanted, since you said that's what happened to you? Because this is a bigger panel? Absolutely. There's a lot more space to work with, and mm -hmm. there's a lot more circuit you can put in. And it also has a lot higher, higher power for the circuit than the smart home panel too. Cool. So Sam, you told me that your entire house is all running on smart home panel 3. What are some of the biggest um, power draw appliances? Like, what are some of the biggest breakers that you have? So the biggest breaker, there's no doubt, is my uh, geothermal system. That mm -hmm. is just a three-ton uh, HVAC unit. Mm -hmm. It does AC and it does heating. It also has an electric backup heat built in, so when that runs, the DPUX can also handle that. Oh, wow. I also have an electric uh, stove that's also running on a 50-amp circuit, and that can handle that no problem. Are those both 50 amps? Yes. Like, are you able to power everything all at once? Like, are you able to flip open all the switch that you want, use all the appliances that you want, or do you have to kind of like, don't use certain things and, you know, avoid certain things running together? No, I can actually have uh, dry running, uh, the geothermal running, uh, refrigerator running, stove running. Oh, wow. I never had to worry about flipping anything off. And that's at least 250 amp breakers? Yes. Wow. Okay, son, so I heard you just got your second Delta Pro Ultra X inverter delivered. What's your system's capability now? Well, the capability is now double. The, uh, the output now is 24 kilowatt, and the solar input also doubled now to 20 kilowatt. Wow, that's a lot. You know, son, this is actually super important knowledge for folks like me who already have Delta Pro Ultra, because those systems are really perfect for different size of homes. And when I have the Delta Pro Ultra, my home, you know, it does not use that much electricity because it is in California, it's fairly warm climate. So two Delta Pro Ultra itself is actually fine enough for me. You know, if I live somewhere that requires geothermal heat pump like you do, requires, you know, a lot of electric heating, then I would really need something larger. You know, one of the beauty I realized with Delta Pro Ultra is I could buy another inverter. So with three inverter, I could get close to your output, but then I lose the ability to get EV charging. I think for some of us, we really do have to upgrade to Delta Pro Ultra X to have that kind of capability. The power's on and you're using the grid power. Are you still able to make use of the feature of Smart Home Panel 3? So one of the great features about Smart Home Panel 3 is you can schedule a task on your circuit uh, and automation. For example, I have Christmas lights outside uh, my house right now. I can schedule that certain breaker that control the outlet outside to come on and off at a certain time. 
so I don't have to plug it in and pl unplug the outlet. Wow, that's really handy because I mean, I have a smart plug for that, but being able to do this, you, you save money on the smart plug. Is there anything surprising about your home's power consumption that you realize now that you have this system? Yeah, you wouldn't realize that even though plugging in certain things and not turning it on, it will still consume electricity. Knowing that information, you can actually save money. Yeah, I heard there are users out there that actually save a lot of money by realizing there's kind of circuits, say in their basement, or say there's a faulty humidifier or something that's constantly running and they don't notice it until they put it in and then they, they realize there's constant power surge and you know, they turn off stuff they don't need and they actually end up saving money. I notice you don't have solar panels right now, but do you ever have any plan for solar panels in the future? Absolutely. Probably going to be maybe 20 some panel, uh, mm -hmm. just because the way that my roof design, I can put right. about that much. And, and that's one thing I noticed about this whole EcoFlow system, and that's my favorite part about it. You don't have to go in all at once. Like for folks out there trying to price out a traditional grid tied solar panel system, they'll look at your house's consumption and they'll be like, yeah, that's going to be like $47,000 or something like that. Yeah, didn't, didn't they were looking at it for you? Oh yeah. So like I, I, will, I you know, with power wall, I mm -hmm. go to the website, I punch in how many panels and how many power wall, and mm -hmm. it tells me how many days back up. Mm -hmm. And it was close to like 80,000. Oh, wow. And there's no way I'm gonna that, start That's that a lot. Right, that's you know? a lot of money for anybody to oh, drop on once. It I is. mean, but versus the EcoFlow system, you can actually slowly add more panels as right. you need, right? right? Like you can even hook up portable panels to it if, you're, if your area allows mm -hmm. that. And, and you can kind of gradually increase your your need for panels if your home grows or your family grows and you need more power, is that right? Right, right, and you can do it at your own pace. Oh, that's pretty cool. having to buy everything at once. Oh, wow. Yeah. So do you own a lot of pets? I do, I have I have one dog, I have one cat, I have two fish tank, I have hermit crab. So is it true that I heard like a lot of pet owners sometimes just really need that constant power to keep their pet in the same temperature? Yes. Uh, like for example, the fish tank, you know, certain fish have to have certain temperature to maintain, otherwise they'll die. It's too hot, too cold. So the power goes off and then the temperature will drop and you never know if the fish is gonna die or not. Yeah, so thank you for showing me around your home. I noticed you have a lot of smart products. I imagine, is that another reason why you really wanna make sure the powers are going? Yes, with my home being pretty much a lot of stuff is being smart and you need internet to function and the power goes out, it's a dead zone. So son, at the end of the day, uh, man, this stuff is super cool. Like the Delta Pro tracks, now, now you're making me want to get one, but what, what's your thought on it? I think the whole system is great. It just works and it looks nice and it's everything I wanted. So for anyone that have a question uh, about my DPUX setup, you can drop a comment below. That was awesome. I really like seeing Sam's system. If you really need it, you really need it. I mean, 24 kilowatt of output with two inverters. And so feel free to join the EcoFlow Delta Facebook group. And until next time.